In this video, we're going to cover how to replace the keys on a MacBook Pro, A1706, A1707, and A1708. This includes the 13 inch and 15 inch models with the touch bar, or in this case, with the function strip. This model I have here in particular is the 13 inch A1708, which has the function key strip across the top, and it also features the UK keyboard layout, which has the seven shaped enter and also the smaller shift left. Keys on any other layout can be replaced in exactly the same way that we're going to show here today. If you're not sure what model you have, you can look on the bottom side of your device and here amongst the small print you'll see your model number. In this case we have model A1708. So the keyboard has several different types of keycap. We have the most common square alphanumeric keycaps along with the symbols. We have the slightly larger command left, command right, shift left. And then again, we have the slightly larger shift right, caps lock, tab and delete key. And then we have the smaller function keys along with the small up arrow and down arrow. Then we have the seven shaped enter key. And then finally we have the space bar. The alphanumeric keys are probably some of the easiest to remove. You'll just place your finger on the bottom to prevent it from shooting across the room. You can then insert your tool in the top right corner and gently lift until you hear or feel it click, like so. You can then slide the tool across and clip in the other side and then gently lift the keycap up. Here you can see the butterfly mechanism. Now here we have one, two, three, four pins and it's these pins which hold the keycap in place. You can see here that we have one, two hooks, and then one, two clasps. The hooks attach to the bottom two pins, and then the clasps attach to the top two pins. So when reinserting this keycap, we'll do the same thing in reverse. So we'll hook the bottom hooks on first to prevent them getting damaged. You can then gently press in the top left corner we hear it click into place and then top right and that clicks into place as well and then the keycap is attached. To remove command left, command right or shift left, you can simply place your finger on the bottom and then insert your tool in the top right corner and then gently lift it until you hear it click and then slide the tool across and clicking it from the left hand side as well and then you can raise the keycap like so and gently slide it upwards. You'll see here that we have one, two, three, four pins. These are the pins that the keycap attaches to. You can see here that we have one, two hooks and then one, two clasps. And it's these hooks and clasps that attach to the pins. To reinsert the keycap, we'll do what we did to remove it in reverse. So we'll slide the keycap down like that to attach the bottom. Now the hooks are attached at the bottom, you can gently press the top left and then the top right into place. You should either hear or feel it click. To remove some of the larger keycaps, such as the shift right, or the delete, or the caps lock, or the tab, you can just place your finger on the bottom and insert your tool. Lift gently until you hear it click, then slide the tool across, and then lift, and then slide it up like so. 
the larger shift arrow um, shift keys have one, two, three, four hooks across the bottom, and one, two, three, four clasps that run across the top. The caps lock will only have three of these, as does the tab and the delete. To reinsert this keycap, you'll just do the same thing in reverse and attach the hooks first, like so. So the keycap sits, sits flush across the bottom. And then you can gently work your finger across the top to click it back into place. The enter key on this keyboard is probably one of the trickiest keys to remove just because of its funny shape. So to remove it, you'll place your finger on the right hand side, preventing it from shooting off. You can then insert your tool in the top left corner and then gently lift the keycap, slide your tool down like so. You can then lift gently and slide to the left. This keycap has three clips and three clasps. Here you can see one, two, three clips and one, two, three clasps. When reinserting this key, you want to hook on the three hooks here first onto the clip here, here and here. So we'll insert this keycap from the right hand side, hook that on, and then you'll see that it sits uh, somewhat flush. You can then gently press one, two, three, to reinsert the keycap. The spacebar has four hooks that run across the bottom and four clasps that run across the top, which keep it attached to the clip. So to remove it, you would put your finger on the bottom and insert your tool in the top right corner. You can then Slide your tool across the top to unhook it and then slide up like so to remove the spacebar keycap from the clip. You can see here that we have one, two, three, four hooks and one, two, three, four clasps which attach here, here, here and here. Here, 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 and here. To reinsert the spacebar, you do the same thing in reverse. So attach the hooks onto the bottom, like so, first. So it sits flush. You can then work your finger across the top, clicking it back into place. The left arrow key and right arrow key are removed exactly the same way as any of the other alphanumeric square keycaps. The up arrow and the down arrow are slightly different. So to remove the up arrow, you insert the key tool from the right hand side and place your finger on the left hand side and gently raise until you hear it click. You can then slide it off like so. Now the up arrow has two hooks on the left hand side and it also has two clasps on the right hand side. So to reinsert, you would slide the hooks over the pins, like so, and apply a small amount of pressure to the right hand side to reinsert it. Now for the down arrow, you do the same thing, except you place your finger on the right hand side and insert your key removal tool on the left hand side. This is because the placement of the hooks is the opposite to the up arrow. So keeping your finger on the right hand side, you can insert your tool and gently lift till you hear it click and then slide off to the right. If I turn this over, you can see here that the hooks are now here on the right hand side and the clasps are here on the left. So to reinsert the arrow key, 
you would do the same thing in reverse and insert the keycap like so attaching the hooks first making sure that the keycap is flush and then apply a small amount of pressure to the right hand side you'll then hear and feel it click into place To replace one of the function keycaps across the top of the keyboard, you can place your finger on the right hand side to prevent the keycap from shooting across the room. You can then insert your tool in the gap here on the left hand side and gently lift the keycap like so and then lift it and then slide to the left to remove the keycap. You'll see here that this clip is pretty much the same as the alphanumeric keycaps, it's just a bit smaller. We still have the one, two, three, four pins. And then the keycap itself here, we have one, two hooks, which attach here on the right hand side of the clip. We also have one, two clasps, which attach here on the left hand side of the clip. So to reinsert the keycap, we simply start from the right hand side like so, making sure that that's hooked on and then gently apply some pressure to the left hand side. You you should feel it click into place, like so. If you need a replacement key for your laptop, you can visit macreplacementkeys.com and use our helpful key finder form. From here you can select your device, in this case we'll put a MacBook Pro. You can then insert your model number, in this case I'll put A1708. If you're not sure where to find your model number, you can find that on the bottom of your laptop and it will look something like this. You can then press buy replacement keys and then simply select the keycaps and clips should you need them that you need from the drop down. And then press add to basket and then check out with your preferred payment method.